Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to go from zero to Polygonmatic in your MetaMask wallet. So the first thing you want to do is download MetaMask. So go to metamask.io. I'll have links in the description. You will need to visit metamask.io with uh, a browser that's supported by MetaMask. Uh, MetaMask supports uh, Chrome and Firefox. I'm actually using Vivaldi here, but that's a Chrome compatible uh, browser. So let's click on download and I want the Chrome version. So if I just scroll down, install MetaMask for Chrome. Actually list down here the supported browsers, so Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge, uh, and actually it should support for Valdi. I guess we'll soon find out. So let's do install MetaMask for Chrome, add to Chrome, add extension. And now you have this cool little fox appearing here and we've actually got the uh, get started wizard appearing automatically here. So let's click on get started. And I'm going to create a wallet from scratch because I just want to show you how to do that. But if you do have a recovery phase, obviously you want to uh, import it here. But I'm going to create a completely new wallet like so. I'll say no thanks to that. And it will ask you to create a password. Click create. And this is actually a pretty important video to watch, uh, telling you just how important your recovery phrase is. So watch that and learn. Obviously, I'm not going to reveal these secret words here. So remind me later. Close the Watch New dialog. And now we have MetaMask set up inside our browser. Now we can actually close this tab, close this tab, and I'll close this tab here. And if we ever want to get back to our MetaMask wallet, we just click the fox here and we can see that we have our account set up here. So MetaMask will default to the Ethereum mainnet and this drop down will only have the Ethereum mainnet network set up. Um, but of course, this is a tutorial on the Polygon network. So we're going to want to add in this drop down the Polygon network. So the easiest way to do that is to come to a site called chainlist.org and then in search networks, we can actually type in here Polygon and we'll see Polygon mainnet. Make sure it's not testnet. You want mainnet connect wallet. So let's do that. So once we click connect wallet, we should get a MetaMask pop-up come up and we just want to select the account we want to connect and click next and connect. Now that still hasn't added the network to MetaMask. We now have this add to MetaMask button and we need to now click that. Again, we should get a pop up and that's going to add the Polygon mainnet network to MetaMask. So let's approve that. And yes, we can switch the network now. And if we now open MetaMask, we can see we have Polygon mainnet here, and it's saying we have zero Matic in our wallet. So now we have set up the Polygon network in MetaMask ready to receive some Matic. Okay, so how do we get Matic into this wallet here? Now, the easiest way that I've found is uh, a site called global.transact.com. So if you go to this site, uh, you'll need to do a little bit of setup uh, to get yourself validated on this site. But once you've done that, it's actually very straightforward. So you'll get a box like this uh, where you can purchase cryptocurrencies via your payment card. Now, the key thing here is to make sure we're not purchasing ETH. So if we click on this drop down here, we actually want to search for Polygon again. And that should just display Matic Polygon. Now you can actually buy Matic that will go onto the Ethereum network and you definitely don't want that because you'll start having to pay gas fees and things. So just make sure that this says Matic Polygon 
and then if we click that so I'm going to purchase uh, 50 pounds of Matic which is 31.28 Matic it's going to charge me one pound 75 and it's going to use this exchange rate here so if I now click buy now verify the details make sure it says polygon network here and we want to paste in our Matic wallet address. So where do we get that from? Well, we get that from MetaMask. So if we open up MetaMask and we want to copy this address here. So if I just click copy, come back here and paste in here, this is our Matic wallet address. So I'm gonna click buy Matic now going to enter my email address it will send a verification code so let's go and get that so I'm pasting in my verification code from the email I'm going to agree and continue I've already made a purchase before so it's defaulted to the card I last used but you will probably need to add a card here I'm going to authorize and I'm going to confirm. So if everything's happy, you should get to this screen here. Uh, you can click track the order. And in my experience, this is about right. It may take up to three minutes. Let's open up our MetaMask wallet. And at the moment it's zero in here, but don't panic uh, because this will take a couple of minutes. So that thinks it's successful and that should just appear automatically here. So let's open up our MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, we now have some Matic in our Polygon account. So that's about the easiest way I've found to get Polygon Matic into your MetaMask wallet.